point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When we add the salt into the bag of ice, the salt molecules are bumping the water molecules out of formation, causing some of the water to move from a solid to a liquid state. In science terms, the salt is lowering the freezing point of water, which means the temperature has to be colder than 32 degrees for ice to reform while salt is present. Well, what does this have to do with ice cream? Well, as the ice is moving from a solid to a liquid state, it has to pull energy in the form of heat from its surrounding environment. In the case of our experiment, the surrounding environment is a warm bag of milk that is in the bag of ice. So the ice is pulling heat from the bag of milk as and begins to melt while the bag of milk is getting colder and turning into ice cream. We added salt to the bag of ice so that the ice can get even colder than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that our ice cream can get colder and be yummy soft serve. Y'all, this ice cream is real good. Mm. It's really good. That actually gives me an idea. I would say for next time, play around with the recipe. Um, instead of adding vanilla flavor, you can add chopped up strawberries or mangoes or hot chocolate packets to make um, chocolate ice cream. Honestly, the flavor option is up to you. But all I gotta say is this is good. I'm about to hang up my lab coat and enjoy this ice cream for my evening. I'll see you later. Bye.